Hi, I'm Calvin Sean Rice, and I'm the Director of Business Development at IPS. In this presentation, we're going to go over a number of products and services that we offer for washers and ovens. And with all of the things that we'll present today, we always start with why they were created in the first place. So our first product is called Tight Pack. So why was the tight pack created and why would somebody need to use it? Washers can have high spoilage rates if can packs are not controlled properly. And can packs without side support generate tip cans. And so that is the main purpose of the tight pack is to provide consistent side support to eliminate spoilage inside of washers. And size changes present a particular challenge because with size changes, if it's a diameter change of a can, the original side guides will no longer be optimized because with a different diameter change of a can, the pack width would also change. It's always important to talk to customers and better understand their actual needs. And with a tight pack, the main question that drives the conversation is whether there is high levels of washer spoilage that they are experiencing. And also something to consider if there aren't high levels of washer spoilage is whether they plan in the future to perform a size change on a given line. So this could be swing lines of going between different sizes, or it could be going from one size to another permanently. And doing a size change, it's important to not overlook the fact that if the diameter of the can is going to be changing, that side support in the washer is extremely important. And so tight pack will address these types of issues. This is our tight pack system, and it is a side support cable system. It sets and it maintains the can pack width and is adjustable for different size changes, whether it is diameter changes, meaning that you want to adjust the pack width or whether it is height changes and you want to adjust where the cables actually sit on the can relative to its height. And the main purpose is to reduce tipped can spoilage. And so what ends up happening if there is not a tight can pack, specifically in stages one and two where there is high pressure um, uh, high pressure nozzles spraying at the cans. If there's not a tight pack, there can be excess tipped cans typically on the edges of the can pack. Or if the tight, if the pack is not tight, you can also get tipped cans in the center of the can pack. And so looking at the system, we're going to look at the infeed of the washer right here. And what we see is how these cables are actually mounted on the infeed of the washer. And so you get either three or four cable configurations depending on the can size or sizes being run. And this simply gives tension for the cables as they run through the washer. And that at the at each individual stage, we have these adjustment arms. And these do two things. They allow you to move them in and out, adjusting the pack width. And they also keep the cables from sagging. So they maintain a nice straight, straight cable all the way through the washer. And so another thing that the tight pack can do is adjust the actual can pack from left to right. And so the optimal washer will actually have spray nozzles aligned with can centers. And this will give the maximum effect of the chemicals in cleaning the inside of the can. And although it's typically used on washers, it can also be used in IBOs. 
This is a quick video that shows how this system actually looks when being used. And this is stage two at the, at the blow off. And what you can see is very simply that there is a nice tight can pack with zero tipped cans. Again, to reemphasize the benefits of the tight pack, it is designed to reduce spoilage inside of washers and IBOs. It is easy to adjust pack widths during size changes, and it allows you to move the pack to orient it for can center line to align with the nozzles. The next product that we'll talk about is called the chain lube. And why was the chain lube designed to begin with? It's important to point out that proper pin chain lubrication is not as easy as it seems. It is important to lubricate the chain enough so that pin chain life is nice and high and long. But if the pin chain is overly lubricated, it can result in metal exposure issues because of lubrication either falling off of the chain or built up lubrication and dirty pin chains, uh, things falling into the can and again causing metal exposure issues. So the driving question behind the chain lube is whether a customer is satisfied with their current pin chain life and whether they are experiencing metal exposure issues due to excess chain lube or chain debris falling off of the pin chain. This is the solution that we have for pin chain lubrication and it is called the chain lube. It is an electrostatic lubrication system and we'll have an animation that shows how this works in more detail that is designed specifically for pin chains. Now, it is a lubrication that is based on pin count. So we have a pin counter right here that makes sure that lubrication is completed based on complete cycles of the pin chain. And there's guides that control the pin chain through the system to make sure that lubrication is even. And there is also a chain cleaning station, which is something unique to the chain lube. Other systems that lubricate the pin chain do not have the chain clean station, which is a differentiator between the chain lube and other systems. And finally, there's an easy to use HMI. And so the operator can decide how frequently to clean, how frequently to lubricate, and the duration of the cleaning and lubrication cycles. In this animation, we will show you a bit more detail of how the chain lube actually works. So as you see here, these are the cleaning nozzles and these are the lubrication nozzles. And it starts when a pin chain enters the system. And this would actually be a closed loop. There would always be pin chain in the system. But the first stage is cleaning the dirty pin chain, after which it is controlled through the guides that are integrated throughout the system. Now, here we have the electrostatic lubrication nozzles. And what that means is that the pin chain is grounded while the lube is actually positively charged. And with these nozzles, we make sure that lubrication is optimized, spraying a minimal amount, but making sure that it goes to the wear areas of the pin chain. And finally, this is the pin chain counter that makes sure that lubrication and cleaning happens in complete cycles and that each pin and each portion of the chain gets the same treatment throughout the entire loop. Again, the main benefits of the chain lube are increased pin chain life. So we've had customers that have reported pin chain life as low as six months. If a customer ends up having a pin chain life of a year and a half to two years, that is excellent. And the chain lube can help with much shorter 
uh, uh, pen chain life situations. But it can also help in decreasing metal exposure due to excess oil on the chain and metal exposure issues caused by dirty chain debris, which again is by over lubricating pin chains. Why would somebody want to use what we call a mat conversion? And so we have created the mat conversion system because stainless steel oven mats consume high levels of heating energy and older ovens have stainless steel mats for which this is the case. Stainless steel mats also require a significant amount of manpower to change out. So once they eventually wear out, it takes a lot of effort and downtime to change out a stainless steel mat. So the customer needs discussion is really driven around whether stainless steel mats exist in their ovens. Newer ovens will already come with synthetic mats. So this service, the mat conversion service, is aimed primarily with customers using older ovens with stainless steel mats. And so if there are stainless steel mats, the next question is whether they would like to see an energy savings. And most cases where we have looked into the energy usage with stainless steel mats compared to the energy usage of synthetic mats, it makes sense to convert to the synthetic mat. And that is what the mat conversion service is. It is converting ovens to synthetic mats. And it is for washer ovens and IBOs, typically used and focused on, on the IBOs more than washer ovens. And it's a turnkey service. So what we do is we provide a new slide bed we provide the tracking unit that makes sure that the synthetic mat is always centered running through the oven. And we also provide infeed and discharge aprons. So you call IPS and IPS comes and simply takes care of the entire conversion process. The main benefits, of course, are reduced energy consumption when converting to a synthetic mat and ease of replacing a mat when compared to stainless. And finally, it's that IPS provides a turnkey service. So you no longer have to rely on in-house or corporate help to convert your ovens to stainless. IPS can help from beginning to end. Now, it's important to point out that IPS also has the synthetic mats for sale. We call these the oven mat, and it's simply a quick install synthetic mat. And so we offer these for ovens, PTFE for IBOs, and Kevlar for washer ovens. And the main benefit of these mats over other synthetic mats is their ease of changing out. So we offer a metal hook and pin type connection that we see right here. So on either side, there are hooks and there is a long pin that is placed through these hooks once they are aligned. It will take two people an hour or two to perform a complete installation of a mat. And there's a big benefit of this over uh, welded seams. And so synthetic mats that have welded seams have the problem of um, weld, welded seam consistency. So depending on the equipment and the operator, the seam may not be consistent. And if the seam is not consistent, the mat will not run well through the oven. So this is just so much easier and it is a great system. And there's also some mats that have bull nose type fabric connections, and this is even an improvement over those. So it's easier than bull nose type connections. Again, it's always important that we have all of our customers' questions answered. So whether it's the tight pack, the chain lube, the mat conversion, or the oven mat, know that IPS is here to answer any customer questions. Thanks for watching.